12 motherfucking lifetimes in a row. And so it is, and so it was, and so it was, and so it is. And so he doesn't give a fuck about any of you. He does not give a fuck about any of you. There's about three of you that he rarely cares about. And not one of them is his brother like no other. And the other one is his ex-girlfriend, Kemma the Dilemma. And then one is his wife-to-be, Naomi Campbell. And the rest, well, he believes what I tell him. And so I'm telling him that Oprah Winfrey is not a part of the Black Ball List. Maybe she is. Maybe she is. Maybe she better wake up and smell the coffee. Maybe she better wake up and smell the coffee. And maybe Ellen DeGeneres is part of the Black Ball List too. And let me tell you something. The one standing in front of you, this one, the human one, the skin, when he talks to me, he says, Dad, I think they're all a part of it. I don't think there's a mankind in this world. I don't think there's a nice man or woman in this motherfucking world. I really don't. I see it now clearly. I have not met one ever since you've given me these gifts and riffs. I do not have a friend to the end. Nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. I've not gotten one phone call from an ex-friend or even an acquaintance or one email. A lot of nasty emails though without fail. And when we do get on TV, because we will get on TV, because if you think the one and only is going to let his children beat him and sweet to Peter Palton. Well, my dears, if that were true, if that were true, the one standing in front of him would have been dead months ago. Would have been dead months ago. They spent a lot of millions trying to keep this one down. But you can't keep the one and only down. He's only up, my dears. He's only up. He is only up. So get ready, get ready for lots of regretty. Get ready for lots of regretty and no spaghetti where you'll all be going. And you'll be going all right and you won't be flowing and you'll be knowing, you'll be knowing for every one of those lifetimes. Because when you come here now and even in the past, you have no recollection of the last collection. But well, this new collection, and you won't get an erection if you're a male. And you won't get an erection if you're a female. You will get no feeling at all, my dear. For 222 years, for not having any feeling, in the most important time in the history of Mother Earth, to give her back her mirth and rebirth. And you all had opportunity after opportunity to read all our more than revealing healings at HTTP dot dot slash slash night dot of dot the dot light dot tripod dot com and you all saw the blind boy healing right revealing in front of you and you know no one can fake that blind eyes and you know we have the lie detector to a test that's hundred percent accurate and that's the scientific facts of it. and so why sweeter Peter is the only healer in the world in the entire world that's willing and chilling to take lie detector tests after lie detector tests to attest to all of us. And all the people that have been healed through him. And even the people that have been healed through him, but now want to deny they were healed. Like Tara, who used to have be on 26 different types of medication, basically for her entire life. And then Sweeta Peter, Peter healed her, and then she can't admit it now. Kapow, wow. And so we'll ask her to come on Oprah and Ellen with her new Meta 11 spelling and Letterman, the Betterman, and Regis Philbin, and the girls at The View with the right point of view, or do they have the wrong point of view, like all the producers of all those shows? You see, this is how I work with Sweeter Peter. He doesn't know what's going to happen. Just like any of you, you don't know what's going to happen. But one thing he knows, he knows he's channeling me and paneling me, and biming me and bamming me. Like no man or woman in history. 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 And it is not a motherfucking mystery. 22 riffs and gifts. 
22 riffs and gifts. And actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. But is there a comedian that could do this and that and that and this 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 360 days a year, non-stop, pop, 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 without a break in the action? Or is it a contradiction? Or is it a contradiction? Or is it inspection or an inspection? Or is it an infliction or is it the inflection that you need to be corrected? Or are you inspecting in the wrong galactic? Or are you galactical or are you phylactical? Or are you philonical or are you clonical? Well, do you need a chronicle or do you got to read the chronicle? Or is the chronicle full of jonical? And who is jonical? And do you play a harmonical or a harmonica? Or do you seronica or you're seronica? Or you to seruna to serana and to serena and to mean? Is anybody 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 meaner? Is anybody meaner than you all? Is there anybody ever in the history of the planet meaner than you all now? Is there anybody meaner? I mean meaner, uglier, smugglier, and darn wrong fuglier than fugly. Was there ever a soul? before the last hundred years that would play the unhollywood role and the mightier than now role and see a human being do what I do through Peter Palpin and go fuck you and kick the lights teeth in as JK would say JK what's wrong with you? I mean all your ugly and smugly and fugly and down wrong fugly and fugly hearts and I know what all you're thinking you're all thinking you're fucked and out of luck and you're right you're right, y'all fucked. But you think God isn't going to give you 222 lifetimes. But then you read the Bible and it says you'll die and live in hell forever and ever and burn forever and ever. Forever is forever. And you feel it the whole time just sizzling like a sizzle. I'm not that mean. I'm not that cruel. But if you want to believe that, then, then why would you give me and Gadabri? and keep stabbing, stabbing, stabbing me, if you believe about that. Or maybe you leave what George Bush says. But isn't that a paradox? What are you going to believe? First page on one or page two? Page one says, you burn forever and ever in hell. And page two says, do five of these, but do these. I'm sorry, I, I killed ten people. It was 20, it was 100. It doesn't matter, you'll forgive me for whatever. Like Adolf Hitler. Adolf was a reader, like all the Jews. They read a lot. It's a gift that they got. They read, they don't have anything else to do, so they read. They can't play ball. They don't know how to play ball. They play with the Gadibides and the Gadabides. That's a little bit of playing ball, but even that, they're a little uncoordinated at it. I know. I know about you bidibidis and you bidabidis. And see, Peter could say this, another metal 11 sent from heaven. He could tell the truth about the Jews because he was born Jewish. And he could tell the truth about the blacks because he's black. But I gave him white skin. So he doesn't have a Michael Irvin. The most deserving. And if you don't think I can walk sweeter, Peter, into the Dallas Cowboy football camp, in Oxnard. Wake up! Wake up! I'm cutting your dirty, rotten throats with cotton. Have you forgotten? Shit, man. Ah! 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 Ugly, smoglies, and foglies, what you all doing, eh? Up here, all us in the spell, where well, we hoping and praying, none of you make the right decision. We hate all you. We hate all you. We can't even imagine being down there and do what you all are doing, seeing the getting and the guiding and the good and the gather and the God of Davida and Danny Davido. Danny Davido. Ah. 